What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So today I've got something for you guys, it's super fun. Uh, we're gonna be cutting a live model, her name is Jasmine. She actually uh, drove about an hour and a half from New York City to come to the salon to have like almost a haircut fix happen. Um, so this is gonna be a real full hair makeover. Um, she was in a salon and they bleached her hair out and it started to break off. So there's, she's got really curly hair. Um, the damage is pretty significant. Uh, within her hair, there's some pieces that are actually super short. So she wanted the shag haircut on curly hair. So I decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna take her on, I'm gonna cut her hair. So we had a lot of fun doing it. We did it as a live class, but now I'm gonna break down the video for you guys, show you guys step-by-step step how I did it, and then also, make some adjustments on where those short pieces and those broken pieces happen. I wanna share that with you guys as well. So I know you guys are gonna like this video. There's a ton of information packed into it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Here we go. All right guys, so to start off this technique, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a U-shaped section uh, underneath parietal ridge all the way around the head. The reason I go underneath the parietal ridge is anytime I'm working with curly hair, uh, I like to have that top section just a little bit wider. I think it helps with the shape as I'm working through it. So it just gives me a little bit of extra control on that round of the head area when I'm cutting. So then the, the second section is just to divide the head front and back. So we go line directly down the hairline in the back so you can see how that density matches up. So the density is the same there. And then it's the same thickness in the back as well. We're gonna be cutting vertical sections, working our way around the round of the head, cutting concave layers. What a concave layer is gonna do is it's gonna be a nice extreme short to long. Uh, within this shag, I wanna cut nice short layers in the interior. I'm not worried about that exterior length yet we'll do that at the very end we'll cut that when it's dry now you can see in the center of this section those broken pieces that i talked about at the beginning of the video that's from her previous hair color at the salon she was at that's the reason that she drove so far to come to me to get her hair cut today what i'm going to do is try to ignore those pieces because they need to grow and just continue my shape um, throughout the haircut. So I do have that cascading top that doesn't have any broken pieces that will fall over this. So I'm trying to treat this in my mind like an undercut at this point. And you can see right in the middle, it just breaks off. Um, so it's unfortunate. And that's why, you know, you wanna make sure that you go to the most professional person, especially to get lightning services on your hair. But you know, it's, it's part of what we do as in our job. So you can see, this is a nice thick section. Uh, totally different than the, the side that has the broken hair uh, through it. So I'm going to go through, cut it pretty much the same. Um, and then in the dry cut, what I'll do at the very end is show you guys some tips on how to blend all of that. Because obviously, if one side's fuller than the other, you're going to have a little bit of a different feel or look to each side. So we want to blend those the best that we can while the hair grows out. So continuing around the head shape, cutting those um, concave layers on both sides the same exact way, same body position all the way through. Now my goal with Jasmine's hair, obviously because she had those lightning services, um, Carly went in there and she did a, a toning service basically over her hair, create a little bit of a shadow root using demi color because we didn't want to lighten her anymore. Unfortunately, in Jasmine's situation here, we're kind of playing defense a little bit because, um, you know, her hair is, is damaged and we're working through it. We want her to leave with healthier hair than she walked in. That's my goal every time a guest comes in is make sure that their hair obviously is never worse than it, it was when they came in the door. So, um, so we also threw in there uh, before we start cutting the front here, uh, Joyco Defy Damage Pro Series 1. It's a bomb protector. So we spray that on. Then we did our toning technique with the shadow root uh, on her hair. So now to move into the front, to cut the front layers, this is a really cool technique to create uh, some weight towards the back. So where it gets a little bit weaker back there, I wanted to pull all of the hair forward and cut it right in front of her face. What that's doing is creating layering. Uh, it's gonna start shorter around the, the cheekbone area. And then as it works its way back, it'll connect into the rest of the hair. So you can see already the difference in the health of her hair and how it lays. It's laying with a little bit of extra volume in there. And now I measure out each side and I start cutting just to clip a piece from my guide and I draw a diagonal forward line and I go through and I cut 
the same exact way on the opposite side, removing some of that hair to create those layers uh, and the face frame technique, uh, also that shag effect. Now you'll know when you're done when the when you run out of hair so you just keep working your way back until everything is connected you can see it gets longer towards the back now we're going to work into that front section this is pretty cool and i love this technique especially on curly hair creating a really really fun like full front fringe and then some layering that will continue into the back so we split it into four sections you can see two in the front two in the back um, and we're going to cut each of those separately so i take a nice diagonal forward line I cut it, point cut it right at the fringe area. She already had a little bit of a fringe starting out that she had cut herself. Um, so I went in there, just kind of cleaned that up. And now as I take each section back, I elevate a little bit more to add a little extra volume into it. So you can see, I try to keep everything at about zero degrees. So there's 90, there's zero, there's 90, there's zero. And I just work my way through uh, that part of the head. And this is why I section it into four on top is so I can work that first section and then the back layers, we're gonna cut a little bit different. Another tip uh, real quick is that I separate the parietal ridge. So as I take that section through, you can see I kind of part it where the parietal ridge is and just pull the top forward. I don't wanna connect the sides into this uh, point here. I don't mind a little disconnection. Now, just to take off some length, I pull the entire top forward and cut it at the guideline, but we're going to go through and cut that dry um, at the end of the cut as well. So I just removed some of that length just to help me out for later. Um, but this is the back part isn't done in the haircut yet. All right, so you can see that length that gets pushed towards the back. Now, uh, and now I wanna go in and add some products in there and style it up, but you can see those layers popping around the face look really nice. Uh, we're gonna use Joyco Defy Damage. Protective Shield is gonna be our first product. It's got kind of a, a lotion feel to the base of it, and that's what I like with the curly hair, just nice condition feel. And then I go in with Joyco Power Whip, uh, which is a whipped foam, a level nine hold, so it's got a nice hold to it. Uh, those two products combined are really great. So the Defy Damage Protective Shield gives me my UV protectant. It also gives me my thermal protection. And then the Power Whip gives me that hold, uh, that creamy consistency, condition feel. And then I go in with a nice damp towel, scrunch up the hair after I get the product combed through. And then I diffuse it with my Dyson blow dryer. Now you can see all those curls popping now. Keep in mind that Jasmine's hair is super damaged. We're making it healthier. We're putting her on the track to having nice, healthy hair. So what I wanna do is she didn't wanna lose a lot of length. I already took off some length in the wet cut. So now I'm going through and taking off as little length for her as possible. You could see the health of those other layers and the curl and the wave that happens. And it's just a really cool cut. But you can also see where on the left-hand side, just a tad bit, you see some of that weight missing. That's just from the breakage. There's nothing we can do about that. She wants to have longer hair, so I'll go in and just take some pieces and try to cut into it. And I'm gonna cut a little deeper into the right-hand side as well to help balance it out. I'm using a tease cutting technique. What that is, the half open, half close of the scissor. Um, I'm gonna actually, I have some virtual classes coming out where you guys can learn how to do that hands-on with me over the internet. Um, but it's just a half open, half close. So you just push the scissor in and cut. Um, you are closing the scissor. So it's not a drag, a slice. It's more of an actual cut. It just diffuses the line a little bit, makes everything nice and soft. So you can see, I love the shape of this cut. I've done it on a mannequin before. Um, you guys may have seen it on the channel. It's cool to see it on a real person. Um, you know, and just see it kind of unfold, but tons of volume. Now we're gonna finish it off with a little Joyco texture spray, uh, beach shake. 
And uh, that's about it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think uh, of this little transformation here. And thanks for watching. All right, guys, before I let you go, just a little heads up. Uh, if you go to shopfse.com, I just launched virtual hands-on classes. So we're doing one-on-one. -on -one. Those are paid classes, but they're totally worth it because not only do you get to see me cutting hair, but I get to watch you cutting hair, make adjustments. Uh, we've got beginner level all the way up to advanced level, different classes set up. So layering, uh, how to cut bangs, fundamentals, all these different things. So go check it out at shopfse.com. And also if you guys need scissors, combs, clips, anything, brushes, anything that you're looking for to make your professional life easier, uh, we have that on the shop as well. So go check it out, shopfse.com. Thanks for watching.